Hey guys, um, am I live? Tell me if I'm live. Am I live? Oh, yeah, okay, I must be live. Um, welcome, and we are at Space 519 in Chicago. And um, we have a lot of noise going on, it's really fun stuff happening in the background. People are eating really delicious food, um, which I didn't get to eat because I ate at Chili's in the airport. I don't recommend, I mean, anyways, it's, it was fun. But um, we're here and we're going to be trying out some different things for you guys. And so let's start off with what I'm wearing, okay? So I put on the Chalky Drape jogger. And this is the shorter length in the jogger, or maybe we call it the regular length. And we've done this in two lengths. So we've got the longer length and then the shorter. So guys, remember I'm five foot five, and so this seems to work for my height, right? And then on the longer length, we recommend for anyone maybe like five, seven and above. And what I want you guys to think about, if you do go online and you look at the jogger, is the jogger length as we show it on the model is the intended look. So sometimes in the past, we would have like a five, nine model, and then we would show her in the shorter and the longer, and the shorter she would look like, you know, a flood was coming, and then the longer it would look like the way it was supposed to look. Well, now, the way that you see it on the model is the way that it's going to look on you if you buy the right length for you. So shorter, five, and five five and below, you want the regular length, and five five and above, or five six and above. I would go with the longer length. So you'll see this fits right up around the waist, but you can wear it lower. I'm wearing the size small. It's got the pockets on the back, and um, I love it. It's really good. It's in the chalky grape. I'm sure that we've told you guys to dry clean it, um, but don't throw it in the washer. Leave it to hang dry. My production people kill me for saying that, but honestly, like, don't go and dry clean it. Um, all right, so this is the top. And the top we love, it's got the drop shoulder here, so it's really eased out. I've got it rolled up, but you can see like, this is how it looks down. And I've tried this on a few customers uh, this morning already. It's been really cool seeing, um, I feel like I'm out in the jungle. I'm seeing things in real life on real people, which I mean, not that our team isn't real people, but you know what I mean. But. Um, but this top is really great. It's fitting everyone. And even there was a woman who was much smaller and I had her put on the sample and I was like, you want to size down. But then when she put it on, it looks great on her too. So it's a really easy fit. Um, don't stress it. If you think that you're buying it too small, it's going to fit. If you think you're buying it too big, it's going to fit. Um, and this comes in three colors. So I'm wearing the black and um, I did try and stick my head through this to see if I could make it like a v-neck and you can't. Okay, I mean, I don't know. Maybe if you've got a little pin head, you can do it and that would be chic, but my big ass head will not fit through it. Okay, so next, in the chalky drape, Christina's whispering. Why are you whispering? whispering that I wanted to Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were just like, can we introduce the people who like, places it? So yeah, I am gonna introduce them because let me just tell you guys, we got so busy and then they just came and told me that I was already late for IG Live. <laughs> I'm so amped up. I've had, I mean, I was at four thirty drinking coffee and chilies. Yes. I do like brought you by chilies and space five. Yeah, exactly. Jim and Lance, guys, and these are the owners of Space Five Nineteen, and they're real people too, which is really good because we keep saying that. Um, exactly. Absolutely. Right? Everybody employed. Keeps them employed. And it keeps you guys focused. And so as customers, you know, when you go out, you want to know, like, you guys are like FDA approved, you know, you're like organic certified. This is like certified cool. If you come to their store, you don't have to like worry about whether or not it's good or bad. Um, because a lot of people come to me, they're like, well, how do we know if something's good? And I'm like, go to something they trust. Right. It's so it's added you trust. Yeah. And I you trust as well, like you. Yeah, because you guys um, write to me a lot and you're like, what other brands should I be wearing? And I think an easy way to answer it is not so much in terms of other brands, but what other places should you be shopping other than, you know, Mall of America or whatever that's, you know, touting that they got in 7,000 new items in the last hour. So if you go to a place with like these guys who I know them because we actually meet up with you guys in Paris. Right. 
right. That's where they like to do market, and that's where I love seeing you because it's pretty great. It's pretty yeah, good. Never exactly. complain about press travel ever it's again. Really good. Yeah, right. Um, but you guys come in, and there's a lot of love. Come on, Absolutely. What do you uh, and we really buy for the women that show up. You know, it's like we're not buying obviously for something that goes into our closet or it's not something like that we want to wear, obviously. It's a moment of like we want our clients to feel amazing, feel secure and strong in how they present themselves every day. You know, when someone comes up to me, you know, that dress I, I bought from you seven years ago, I pulled it out and I got so many compliments. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that makes me, you know, brings tears to your eyes that I love. You know, you don't see that in department stores or you know stores here are just kind of like a number. We're buying for real people. You know, many of the people that are here at the event stand you know, their styles and have to their body shapes, their, what they like, what makes them feel good. And I think what's great about like, having you here today is that like, you see in the fitting rooms like what real women feel like in these clothes. And that's so it's such an important science I think of what we all do. It has to look good on. And it's like human connection. Okay, we're going to turn it back to you now. Okay. Say hello. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, so shop from real people. And I know, like, you know, I've worked with tons of stores over the last 25 years. And when the owners are there and present and, um, and showing up and for their business and for their clients, so those are the people that you want to shop from. So, all right. So in keeping with the chalky drape theme, I am wearing the chalky drape jumpsuit. Um, with the front zip here and I actually came right off the plane straight to space space 519 so this just tells you that this is something that's very comfortable but also very versatile um, I was able to wear this on the plane and feel really comfy and then come here and feel really polished and appropriate for the occasion so what's really great about this jumpsuit I never tried this on in the showroom but trying it on here for the first time, I was really intimidated by more of this low rise, which I know a lot of you guys are. But something like this is really great because with Tibby, it's so smart, the design details. So even though this is really low rise in the front, it sits really nicely. And in the back, there's this really nice detail with this pleat here that you can see that gives it that really chill factor of the material back here. So I feel like I would naturally want to do this with the jumpsuit, but you could see how this just creates all this really unflattering bunch. So trust the fit of Tibby. I feel like there's really smart details behind everything that we do. So something like this that looks really refined, you still have that really chill element. And then you have these really cute flat pockets in the back. It's just out of something. And the bottom too, this comes, I believe, in two lengths. We also have the, the joggers that Amy just had on in the longer length. This is the regular, um, it's super comfortable, and I'm also wearing the Morris Leopard Clothes, which I wore last week too, but I'm obsessed with them. And I traveled in these too, because they're just so easy and light. So when your feet swelled up on the plane, we actually did it, because these shoes, <laughs> these shoes also prevent foot swelling. <laughs> they're that good. Oh my god. But this also comes in white and black as well. This is the butter color. Very no, it doesn't come in white. The jumpsuit. Oh, the jumpsuit just comes in black and butter. I'm lying. Okay, bye. <laughs> Her feet swell and she lies. Speaking of someone else. Hey. Uh, no, her, she doesn't have swollen feet. Um, I don't have swollen feet, but I recently learned I'm not as tall as I thought I was. So, for those of you that thought I was six feet tall, I'm not. Um, but I am wearing the asymmetrical snap flap dress. Um, I did not wear this on the plane. I was not that prepared at 5 a.m. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I did change into it here, and it's a great piece. Um, what I like about it is obviously the snap details. You can leave it open. Little leg. Snap across. Um, so... For some of you guys, and, you, and actually this is before your time, but we did this dress last year, and it was in a fabric called Mandini Twill. It was in navy blue, and it sold out immediately. And so we brought it back this year. So you've got it here, but we also have it in the Mandini Twill again in navy blue and in white. Which don't let the white scare you for fall. Like it's really good. But anyways, you're gonna have a few different options. And there's a. Uh, but you have the turtleneck version last year too. Yes, but for right now, 
there's another one when this comes in. Yes, there is. It's darker one. Stay yeah. tuned. It's good. We like the boat. But this looks great with the boot. You got the leg like, going. I don't like showing my leg with it, but I like your leg. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> it looks good. I like it. Yeah. Well, it's good. Um, all right, so I want to show you guys the merino wool sweater, and we did this um, in the green colorway and in black. And I love this one both. But what's really cool about this sweater is number one, it's a fine merino wool, and what that means is is that it's a weight that it'll still keep you warm, but you're not going to be sweating your ass off in it. Um, so it's quite versatile year round. And what's beautiful too about this sweater is you'll see this, and this is not like just a ventilation system, although you can think of it that way. But this sweater looks really beautiful when you wear it out at night and it becomes this one shoulder thing. Or you can even like wrap it around, um, especially in the black with this as the one shoulder piece here. It's very like, becomes this really elegant going out at night top. And you know, we talk a lot about PDW, play dinner work, being able to wear things in three different places of your life. And for me, if I am in like a more corporate work environment, we have a lot of debates about what you can be wearing creatively or not. But when you're in a more corporate work environment, you know, if you've got a client meeting and you're going over an algorithm or something, you might want the arm covered. But then afterwards, when you go out at night, you can do this little action. Um, then, the other thing that I brought with me, and tomorrow we're going to put these up um, to, not for you guys to order yet, but for you to express your intent to order. But we've got um, Hannah's jewelry. And I will say, this has passed my travel test, which if anyone's traveled with me, they know how destructive I can be with everything. So this has, um, been in the bottom of my bags. It has had a chocolate power bar melt onto them and it has been fine. Um, I have done everything other than like step on them and all the little beads have stayed in place. So Hannah, you did an incredible job. So we, I think I said they're 325. They will be sold in pairs and you can get them uh, in whatever color combination that you want. I had a woman try them on today and she ended up going with both of the green. And so what I love is when you do wear both of them together, she had it on with just a black blazer and it really makes like a big statement. So like I'm not going to the grocery store with this doubled up on my ear, but if I had an event to go to, all of a sudden I'm wearing olive green and this green and now there's something really ironic and interesting about it. But if I am just regular day here, just one is nice. And then when I was on vacation and wearing like a white dress, then I thought it was really pretty wearing them uh, mixed up with two color ones here. Okay, so good stuff. Um, we are putting a wait list together and really so that we can figure out how to manage this. So you guys have to be with me on this journey. Um, these are all made by hand and you know, Hannah's got two hands, and you don't want my hands in these making them. So we gotta figure out how many we can make and make sure that we get a good list of people um, on there so that you guys can get them. But they're really, really beautiful, and even more beautiful in real life. So, really good. Okay. Hey, Hannah, so I'm gonna show you Sam Jean. So I'm not sure if you've been showing the Sam Jean as Another style of the denim. Yeah, I live, I've been living in this yeah. AMG. So you're wearing a size 27. This is 27, but I just noticed that this is pinned. <laughs> oh, no, it's only pinned because this was a top of production and it came in one oh, inch okay. over. So this is my size. This is your top, yeah. So I'm wearing a 27, and I did try it on the showroom, and it is a great fit for me. And this is something, again, more low rise, but not early 2000s McQueen Bumster low rise. Yeah. Like, this is like more relaxed very modern, but a good way to feel more new in the denim, because I feel like high-rise we've been doing for so long, and 
it just is starting to feel like you just want something that feels a little chiller. It feels like you know what's up when you're wearing a little dress. Yeah, and I think, you know, guys, when we say that something feels a little dated, it's not um, because we're like keeping you running on a trend cycle. It's just simply that, you know, you want to stay inspired when you go in your closet. And sometimes something as simple as where a jean is hitting you can change everything. It really does. And so when we talk about your woofs, and a lot of you write and say, like, well, are woofs forever, or do they, like, well, they change at some point? And the thing is, is I, I tend to keep them in my closet forever, but I don't wear the same ones forever. I rotate them in and out. And so for me, when I have this lower pant here, all of a sudden, when I'm putting on tops that I bought that I've had for a long time, all of a sudden those tops feel really new exactly. and interesting. So it's really good. It is. Yes. And I had a woman in earlier and she was like, she had actually brought in her own, she had bought them and she brought them in to try on for me. And she was like, I just want to try them on because I think I'm going to get so much shit from my daughter in these. And then when I put them on, I'm like, why? Because your daughter has horrible taste? Like, why? Because you look cooler than you do. <laughs> exactly. So for people who are afraid that their daughters will look cooler than than them, or for daughters who want to look cooler than their moms. It's time to stunt on your daughters. <laughs> That's the message. Yeah, yeah so these That's are a carpenter fit also. I just want to show the details here. Yeah. Um, because I feel like anything carpenter shape always just has that cool element to it. Yeah. And also the pockets on the back, again, something that I feel like people are intimidated by. But for me, it speaks to like a creative element. So if I see someone wearing something like this, I'm like immediately wondering where they got it from and how can I get it. But where if it just had a regular pocket, I'd be like, oh, they're Levi's, they're whatever. But no, it just gives it that touch that you know that's something different, something special, and something that you want to buy. Yeah, I think that. You know, we talk a lot about what are those like discreet things that aren't just so loud and in your face. And those are the things that like, ironically, that pocket being asymmetrical like that, maybe you only notice it, maybe your friend notices it after a little while, but it's a good thing. Yeah. It makes you feel interesting, you know, it's about being curious. Yes, and I think as it like to be lovers that watch this, we don't do a lot of logo things, obviously. So this is our way to put our stamp on and you can grab the brand. And the kangaroo stand. Yes. So this is the graphic print of the season for fall, which is a really fun kangaroo. And, and what Tracy's I see is husband yeah. shot these. So Jeremy Amar did the photography on this and they literally like, yeah, ran around the kangaroo and shot it. A Not a real one. Yeah. <laughs> but I love I always love a Tibby print. Same with the, the gnomes that we did for spring. What's so cool is that from far away, you're kind of not sure what it is, and it just looks really graphic, poppy, and fun. There's always a whole cool color element to it. And when, then when you look up close, there's always a sense of humor to it. So in this case, it's the fun little kangaroo that you never would have thought was a kangaroo until you looked really closely at it. But from far away, it just looks like a really cool graphic print. And then I'm also wearing the Baron. Hopefully that's how you say it. But these are the patent leather red slides, which I believe we got a new shipment in of. So this is the red. These also come in the black patent leather, and then we also have them coming in in blue and a really cool funky green too. I am five four. Yeah. Okay. Hello, I'm back. Um, full fundamentals here. Cut and viscose tank. I am wearing a medium in it. And then the camo full on joggers. These are a small. I think ideally I would want a medium so I could wear them a little bit lower. Um, but you know, you work with what you got here. Also in the Burian slides in black. Um, as Christine was saying, we did get a restock of them, so I know they were gone for a while. So check the site for your sizes. Um, what I like about these pants is the camo isn't loud. I don't feel like I'm like early 2000s cargo pants. It still feels really cheap. Are you camo. Nicole Richie? I was, but still. No. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not your early 2000s. And the reason why is uh, 
the rise. First of all, you've got the longer rise. And that longer rise, honestly, every single time, it is what keeps it chill. So if it were early 2000, it would take you like a nanosecond to zip because it's like, beep. yeah. too that keeps this really modern and out of the early 2000s because we don't want to replicate that time although it is feeling interesting but the other thing that keeps it out of the early 2000s moment if you step back is it's a mixture of all the textures so you've got the patent shine on the shoe then you've got the nylon jogger and then you've got the knit top because i just had a woman in the dressing room and she was telling me that she belongs to a country club and that she was trying to figure out how to wear the jogger because they don't want to wear jeans. And how could she wear the jogger when she's at the club and not feel like she's like sporty spice at the table? And the way to do it is by making sure that you're mixing up the textures and that you're not wearing something overly sporty. So wearing the shine there and you're not a sneaker or a trainer is what makes it a thing. Um, this is a blazer. We showed it to you guys last week, but I wanted to show you again because it's just another piece that I just had on with a customer in the dressing room. And the reason why I wanted to show it is I came to uh, Chicago this morning. I was wearing the cutout blazer that we had done in 2018. And I love that blazer so much because it's an easy length, it's an easy fit, but the cutout was I mean, it was just so modern in fashion, right? And this jacket, to me, does the same thing as what that blazer did from 2018. And the reason why is because, like, this option here, and first of all, these can be removed entirely, but this is just an interesting element, okay? And if you're going out and you want this, like, little vet thing happening, you can tuck it under, you can, like, let it hang over, you can let this dangle down. But it's a thing that, like, it really is worthy of going to the most interesting event. And then, if I were in the grocery store with a regular t-shirt on and jeans, you know, I don't look like a jerk in the, in the cereal aisle. So, I think that, um, I just, I wanted to try it on again to show you guys, because it really did remind me of the cutout blazer. And I remember when Tracy had designed that cutout blazer at the time, it kind of scared me. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be wearing that, and then it's turned out to be the thing that I live in. So all of these little elements are interesting. They are meant to hang and dangle. When we talked about that we are finding things interesting about the early 2000s, what that means a lot of times is that we are interested in things that have just a little more novelty than they have in the past. So that means metal elements are just catching our eye. They're not catching our eye because it's like a stated trend, but they're catching our eye because we have had things that have been dyed to match for a while. We've had very classic buttons, classic snaps, but now letting a little bit of metal show is a little interesting. And you'll see um, before I left, Tracy and Hannah had me in a meeting and we were already discussing Fall 22. And playing around with metal buttons is feels good it's interesting so this is kind of like a little peek into that I'm sorry that my head's already in the next year but lots of different ways to to wear this it's all good and then I've got on the bodysuit with this and this is fundamentals right yeah well like bodysuit this is not a um, this is not an in-between scoop a lot of you guys asked me about what that bad scoop is um, I read a really great analogy in a book, and I'm going to remember the name of the book in a minute, but they were saying that a lot of designers, department stores, everyone, they buy things in a way that they called uh, warm tea. And what they figure is that, you know, they're not sure how many people like cold tea, and they're not sure how many people like hot tea, so they figure, let's just give them warm tea, and that will appeal to everyone. So that basic scoop that I show you guys, that is warm tea, it is average, it is basic, it doesn't appeal to anyone, definitely doesn't appeal to me. So here, like, go big or go home, so here's the lower scoop, and then you know that we like it up hot. So this is not a basic scoop. So I am 
wearing the other body of the shirt in the chalky dress in black. So this is really nice, has that nice relaxed fit to it. And the sleeves are really nice because if you look closely, it has this slit here. So it just gives it that nice movement that you're seeing here. And it has a really nice raglan sleeve detail. So again, it just has that chill element. Also, you'll notice this has a band at the bottom, which I think adds to the fact that you can tuck it under and it gives it that look that you always want with the top without tucking it in. Because I feel like once you tuck it in, you just get a lot of things that you don't need. Whereas if you could just do it like this. Here's the thing with the band that we did was, when we first did it, we actually did it without a band. And what we found is that the hemline really wobbled and it looked sloppy. Mm -hmm. And it was like, it was, the, it was fighting with each other because the fabric and the neckline and everything looked quite refined. And then the little bend back hem looked really sloppy. So when we did this waistband here, we did it without filler in it. So what that means is it's not stiff. So you can still tuck it in without it being all crunchy and stiff. Um, and then when you leave it out, it looks really finished off. In the, and then you're wearing this with the brand of brand in the black. I believe this is the regular one. That's a regular length. Yeah. We don't, the longer length is coming in at the end of the month or the beginning of um, August. And I know these are pretty much sold out everywhere, yeah. but we are getting in more of them. Yes, there's um, more coming soon and then even more coming, yeah. I think, in October. So if you did yeah. not get a chance to get these, there will be more opportunities. And I think, obviously, they're a must-have. Even if you have them in a different colorway, the black is obviously just goes back to everything. Yeah. And I'm someone that doesn't wear all black a lot, but when I do, I feel like Amy always talks about this, it's always about silhouette and also fabrication. So something here where you're mixing like this raw denim look in the black with chalky drape, and then you're also getting this beautiful silhouette. This is how I'm gonna wear all black and still feel modern. Um, and like I said, this is the regular length. I'm 5'4", so this length is perfect for me. I always say if you're like 5'6 and up, I would try the longer length, but then you have to try. Um, this will probably hit a little bit higher. And I would say if you're shorter, if you're 5'4 and shorter, the long length, because it has this beautiful pleating detail here, it's just going to bunch a little bit and not hit the way it's intended to. So I would say, like I said, 5'4, 5'5, 5'3, anything under that. This regular length should be perfect for you. And then if you're taller than that, just I would say try the long one because it could be perfect. Yes, there's so many more of these coming. Jane, um, Amy is wearing the chalky drape jogger. So that actually, I bought this as a full set. I got the top and the pant. So it's something that similarly to what I was wearing earlier, you can look like you're wearing a jumpsuit, but you could definitely break it out into separate suits, which is awesome. Hey everyone, um, so coming back again in the cargo nylon full-on jogger, um, but these are size medium, so you can see more so what the intended fit is, what the preferred fit for me at least would be. Um, what I like about going up to the medium as opposed to the small is they're able to sit more so at my like hip point than having to wear them higher, um, and then because of that I have a little bit more length. They also, in my opinion, just feel a lot more chill and they're just a little bit looser versus pulling anywhere. Um, and then I have on these striped scallop sleeve shirting from fall. Right now, this comes in a longer kind of boyfriend length, um, but we are redoing it in a crop style. Um, it comes in crop right now in blue and white, so if you prefer that silhouette and a little bit closer to the waist detail of the pant, you know that it's coming. Um, the top is a size small, and generally in tops I would probably take a small, I guess depending on fit, but that's pretty consistent. Um, a tippy store, great seeing you guys. Um, again, wearing the Pat and Burian sandal. The blue and green hit last week, um, and definitely still available, but I also feel like the black and white you can't go wrong with. Um, for the scallop shirting, you can see too the detail isn't as dramatic when the sleeves are long, so if you need it to be a little bit more simple, that's fine, and then when you push it up, it really highlights that. Well, hi. Oh, did you show me the trick? 
Okay. <laughs> so the trick that I had um, in my video in my closet last time, leave the two unbuttoned, uh -oh. right? It's a good trick. It's a good one. Okay. And then you pull this up. So when I... No, 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 no. No. Look, because what I'm doing is I'm just cinching it right here. So see how like... It's giving it a totally different look. Thank you. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we just pull it up and then we'll just tie it in a knot. And then we can tuck it in like that. Or you can leave it out. But what I love about this is it gets just a different yeah. look. So, you know, for a lot of you guys, like, it's not a look to, like, slim you out. It's just a look to give you options. And that's a really good option. Yeah. All right. So our last thing here, and I just wanted to show you guys this because um, I just watched Great Expectations again with Gwyneth Paltrow. So, the clothing in that movie was so good. And it just reminded me of how chic something can be, just as simple as like the little turtleneck here. So this is the one that's got the opening in the ground. If I had longer hair, if I had hair extensions, you could go through that. Um, but I love it. And I'm, who's the designer of this? Is it Artiga? So it's right there on that. Gabriella Artigas. Yes. Gabriella Artigas. Um, so just like this, I've got. Um, these Jennifer Fisher hoops here. I love Jennifer. And um, just something as just simple as like, you know, when you're wearing black like this, simple, and then just an earring is really, really cool. And I wanted to show you this because a lot of you guys will send me a picture and you'll try something on and you're like, no, nah, I'm just not sure that it's like the whole outfit's doing it for me. And the thing is, is everything works in tandem, right? So your clothing, like, it does a lot of the heavy lifting, but it can't lift the whole house. So that's why I like having something really chic and simple, like a perfect hoop here when you're doing this, like, all black look. It's just really, like, a way to complete an outfit. Great. And then, like, anything works with it. Um, this is the faux patent A-line skirt. We are getting more of these in. I know that they're sold out on Tibby, but we do have a lot of our uh, retail partners are putting this up soon for sale. And, um, and then we'll be getting more of them in. But what I love about this skirt is it really is, um, it's close to a 12 mower. So I would wear this with a skimpy tank top right now, which does make it a 12 mower, because it's July. So you can wear this around the, around, even, and some of you guys write to me and you're like, but I'm in Texas. I'm like, girl, I've been in Texas. You can wear it in Texas, too. So um, it works here. Um, so you guys, that is going to be it for IG Live today. And if you've taken anything away, remember, shop small. Shop from people that you trust. Um, I'll try and give you the names of other brands to shop as well. But the easiest route to knowing on what the good stuff is, is to shop with people who really take the time to find out what the good stuff is. Because I'm not going out and investigating other brands, but Jim and Lance, they are. That is what their mission in life is, is to find new brands, curate it, put it together for a great store. So all of the wonderful, wonderful boutiques that we work with, that's what they do. That's what they do. And so um, shop small. It's good. And... I'll see you guys next week, and uh, and hopefully we'll have Dion back by then. So she was supposed to be with us today, and um, but she's not out of recovery yet, but I know that she will be next week, and all will be good, and we can't wait to hang out and have her back. So take care, guys, and um, we'll see you next week, hopefully with Dion and Tim. Take care. Bye.